How's it going, everybody? We are going to do a video about ship fitting. I should say ship upgrades. This comes from Salty Dog 47 on YouTube. He asked about the X-M that I talk about all the time. It's the ship I'm flying at the moment. Uh, as you can see, I've been out doing a few things, and I have my normal. I'm still all 38 on everything because I haven't upgraded anything because the tier upgrade stuff is all broke. Yay, it's broke. Um, but this is this is how I run with my X-M torpedoes because I don't need the missiles to kill ships. So if I ever need to take down the stations, I use those. Um, but you can see at pilot 40, ship all 38 everything, you can see the stats are just murderous. I mean... 38.6% crit, and I've got plus 10% in perks, 215% bonus damage, almost 600 crit damage, crit ceiling, excuse me, 131% refire rate, 256 million meters a second at warp, with an engine that does 65 million and then 5.8k, 31 kph, 31,000 kph, um, decent absorb and resist, but bad shield and armor. I mean, it's just bad, like 140,000 or something. Um, 22 resist and 17 absorbs, very good. But, that's not what we're here for. We're here for this. We're going to buy this ship, we're going to buy it naked because we're going to be putting stuff on it. Um, and save us, you know, a million bucks. But, the, uh, you know, a one one with holographic mirror, having immortals fine, that's how my ship is. You will always get cloaked no matter what. So this comes tier two. That's fantastic. This will help me uh, show Salty Dog how, exactly how all this works. You do only get one captive slot. So these are the drawbacks to the X-M. You only ever have one captive. It sucks. You're leaving money off the table. I don't love it. It is what it is. You start with two weapon slots. That won't be a problem, as I'll show you. Three probes is fine. Really bad ship uh, shield and armor. And... <laughs> a disastrously low cargo capacity. With all my stats and everything, I still only have 59, actually 51 if you don't count the perk I have in my X-M. But let's look at this compared to... But Just look at that warp speed. 88 million meters base. And look at the... the annihilating that everybody loves. 42. Not even half. It's not even half as fast. But look at its shields and armor. In comparison big big difference and then this thing's got 92 percent ship bonus damage 14 and percent crit go back to the annihilating just nothing just nothing in comparison refire rate make those pew pews go faster 12.8 there 49 percent this is why you buy the x-m if you choose this path it is a glass cannon it does absurd amounts of damage for only having what will be a three weapon ship. So we're going to get this. Bada bing. Hi, get him away. Yeah, I'll go ahead and fly over to the station in mine so you can get a proper look at mine. So you can see 161.5k shields and 157k armor. Uh, my other ships at this level are over 200. So yeah, it, it it takes some damage for sure. But the amount that I can push out is just obscene. Landing gear retracted. Weapons online. You see how fast the weapons fire. Base here. Still pretty fast. I go to the lowest if I really want to be speedy. Still pretty quick. I would say this is about what a base ship early early game fires at. So it's it's pretty nasty and it's and it's super fast without any bonus. What's going on? My ship isn't responding correctly. Uh, da -da, faction hanger. So we're gonna go over here. I don't know why it's being weird. Oh, because I'm like, my weapon's out, dirt. 
Calibration completed. It'll do almost 200,000 kph if you put the wet, uh, the engine to max with boost. It's actually too fast. I, I can't, I can't have it up like that and try to dock in this ship. It's too much. I'll overshoot everything. Landing gear deployed. Do, 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 do. Let's get over here. The other, maybe you can call it a drawback. Dock. Um, I'll show you real quick. So, it only comes with five items. That's it. You get five components. I added the offensive pack. We're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to get out of this guy. Boy. Jump, jump. Alright, so I'm currently in... And it is X-M. The one, the two, the whatever after it. That's just what tier it starts at. So this is an X-M2. Mine was actually an X-M1 because it started at tier 1. So good, it's tier, it's level 40 and it's tier 2. That's two less things we have to deal with. You want to call that? Alright. Hey, it looks exactly the same. Yeah, well, we can tell it's not. So, there's nothing on it. Two weapons. Upgrades are non-existent, essentially. And we can see... how the layout is. Uh, scroll down about right there. Okay. So we are in a faction hangar. This is in the... That's not what I wanted. Why does it show me clear over there? I'm way over here. I'm in a hub system. You can always tell because it's got this yellow dot around it versus the white dot on the others. This is a hub system. They are all over the place. Every single one of these hub systems, it doesn't matter where you go. Uh, and I hit this big button in the middle to do your galaxy map. They all have one. All of them. Every single one. It doesn't matter where you go. So, hub system, faction hangar, and you get all this stuff here. This is your paint job. You want to change what the paint looks like. Use different tiers. So tier 1, 2, 3, and 4. You can do harmonic colors. You can do all kinds of stuff. I mean, you can just make your ship do what... Eh, you watch the... It's kind of hard to tell in this dark color, but you, you can do all kinds of goofy stuff. It's, it's impressive what all you can do. Or just solid colors. Anyways, here's where you upgrade. So you're going to see here, it's tier 2 already. You got tier 1, 2, then you got this plus thing, and you got cargo. But there's no cargo. We're going to figure that out. We got tier 3, tier 4, and I can't click on it because it's not there. This plus box adds these, or it adds these. So, first thing we're going to do, we're gonna, well, first... I probably should have saved before I bought that ship because now I have an extra ship that I don't really care that much about. What have I got for money? Ah, screw it. I got plenty of money. Save right here. New ship. There you go. Well. Oh, well, that's fine. Sure. I'll have an extra one of these just in case I need it. So you go to these modules. These are unique modules. Notice the writing. Let's get down where you can see it better. Adds cargo component slot to ship. In order to load this module, there must not be a component slot of the same class on the ship. Here's what that means. I cannot put a defensive, a power, an engine, a weapon, or an aim component that this guy has. I can't put power, I can't put weapon, defensive, engine, aim on this ship. But I can put a turret. So let's put a turret on there. We're going to pop this, and this is, this is very expensive, just so you understand. So, just before we do this, look in here, ship, weapons. I have two weapons. Go to this, go to this, drag it over, it will still say here two weapon slots, even if I go out. Oh no, now it works. Well, that didn't work before. So now it says three. I got a ship, I got a weapons, I now have three weapons. Three is the sweet spot, four is too much. Four drops down to 15% damage and it 
the math just doesn't doesn't hold up. It might be a wash, but it's just wasted, and it's going to cause you even more heat overload, overheat. So, three it is, but I want better than that. Now, this is broken at the moment. When you do your upgrades, you're going to lose a bunch of stats. I have tried this since 1.7.0. Something happened. I have posted it as a bug. I don't know what's going on. All your stats go down. However, it's the only way to get to be able to have this, so we're just going to go ahead and do it, deal with losing stats for now, so that I can show you the second upgrade. Normally, the way this works is it randomizes all these stats. Some will go up, some will go down. So you will take a picture. Hey. There you go. You'll take a picture of this here, because this column is what upgrades, or doesn't, Take a picture with your phone, come over here, do your upgrade, check it again, and see if you can deal with the positives and negatives of the randomization of these stats. Um, generally speaking, we're not really caring too much about cargo and cargo capacity, so I just kind of get to where I can see shield down to warp speed. I care about speed. It takes a long time to get around places in this game, and the, lo the faster I am, the shorter that is, the more I'm playing the game and less I'm traveling in the game. But I care about other things too. I like to know how fast I am standard speed. I like high damage absorb and resist. Um, I like projectile speed multiplier more so than accuracy. Heat cooler doesn't matter as much as you rank up in level. Refire rate, I want that as high as humanly possible. Ship crit damage, I don't care as much because you're going to get 500% or more anyway. Crit chance, I care. I like to get that with the 10% in your perks, which is right here. Uh, this one? Yes, yeah, sharpshooter. So crit chance by 10% and an additional 50% crit damage. Um, so with this bad boy, which does not reflect on your ship here. It doesn't reflect this. So whatever this is, it's you add that to it. I definitely care about ship bonus damage. I don't care as much about ship armor and shield, especially having holographic mirror. If you do not have holographic mirror, I can understand why you would want to make sure your ship and shield, uh, shield and armor are higher. Immortal, it seems to work, but I can't verify that it actually does anything. It definitely doesn't consume your energy like it's supposed to. It's like it it's like it does it one time and then randomly turns itself off. I I don't know. Uh, take it for what it is. Cloak is what it is. They can still hit you through cloak. It's kind of odd. All right, back to the challenge. We're going to upgrade twice. So upgrade once. Now it's three. Upgrade twice. Now it's four. So now we're going to go back over here. Do I even have enough money? Yeah. And so you're going to look at your ship. You're going to see you have a defensive holder, power, engine, weapon, aim. I think every ship has these. It may Not every ship has aim, excuse me. I think there's a few ships that don't have aim. But I think every ship has these guys. Defensive is the equivalent of hull and shield combined. But what you're missing here on this ship, where I'm trying to do big old, big deeps, I'm missing offensive. So I don't want to hole, I don't want to shoot, I mean, I would like to have it, but in this case where I can't do that, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this, cargo's useless. It'd it make me faster because the cargo component gives you speed, but I'm not wasting my, my points on that. I already have defensive. Uh, hull and shield can give you bonus damage output in the rolls, but I want offensive. So we're going to buy offensive. We're going to come over here. We're going to go to the fourth slot. Drag offensive over here. Now, go back in here. Oh, I now have offensive. So now I have six. Six is reasonable. So you can come over here. Offensive. Filter. There is an offensive. Obviously, these components are kind of junky, but um, this gives you an idea. I don't know. I guess I can make it a... I don't even have enough money to make it a long video and do it all. So you would now buy all your items, 
buy your power that he doesn't have, so you have to go to another station. Perfect. <laughs> buy your weapons. Obviously, I run all legendary, so I would put all legendary on this. But now that shows you how you do your upgrades to get a third weapon slot, how you do your upgrade to get an additional component module, and so now I have one additional stat stick that... Let's call my main Black Ops. I built it exactly like I build this one. So this ship has exactly what I just did. So I put a third weapon slot on, on the new one. And I put offensive holder on the new one. So same, you can see, defense, power, engine, weapon, aim. I added offensive on mine as well. And you can see what the stats get to. A lot of it has to do with this layout. I have very high reflexes, which is damage output, which you can see right here. Some of it's in here, especially this guy right here, increases your warp speed by 50%. <coughs> this is the talent to reduce how much overheating problems I have, how much damage output I have, etc. and so forth. So this is again faction hangar again in a hub system any hub system if I clicked on Kaidan E to inspect well, it's kind of hard the way it it's showing double stations you can't really see it, but right here, or this one, is going to have an faction hangar in it. Uh, it doesn't show the hub either, so the, the overhead map doesn't work that great, but anyways. Hub station, hub system, faction state hangar, upgrade your ship. Now, the ship would have options of all the way through tier 4, like mine does. I like the tier 1 myself. I've ran with the tier 3 a lot, but now I run with the tier 1 because it's kind of reminiscent of Star Wars, Imperial. You could, you could imagine this is Darth Vader's ship, right? Like, had it personally built just for him, super fast, super high damage, not a lot of tank because he's Darth Vader. Why does he need a tank? He's just wa He just wants to go murder Hobo and everybody. So, there you are. Alright guys, thanks for watching.